Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying the mileage chart. And a mileage chart is a chart that shows us distances in miles between different places. And in this chart the places are listed here, such as American Fork, Beaver City, Brigham City, Bryce Canyon, Canyonlands National Park, Capitol Reef National Park. Oh, what's that? Okay. Matt is asking why don't we have the Museum of Mathematics here? Well, you know, Matthew, these are places in Utah and the Museum of Mathematics, that's in New York. So it's a totally different state, okay? So that's why. Okay. Now, to read this chart, it's full of numbers. So let's say, for example, this number here, it's the distance between this place and this place, okay? Capitol Reef National Park and Bryce Canyon. Let's go through these two now. How many miles is it from Beaver City to Bryce Canyon? I need to find Beaver City and Bryce Canyon. Beaver City here, Bryce Canyon here. And so I will go down from here, then this way is from here, and I will meet here at 70, okay? So 70 miles. How about from Canyon Lands National Park to American Fork. Canyon Lands National Park and American Fork. I go down from here and then this way is horizontally from here until I meet here. 272 miles. Okay, you make a round trip from American Fork to Beaver City and back. What is your mileage? What's the distance you drive or however you go? from American Fork to Beaver City and back. So for this problem, we need to find the distance from American Fork to Beaver City. We're gonna read the chart. American Fork, Beaver City, they're next to each other. So again, I go down and this way. So it is this number here, 166 miles. And since you're making a round trip, then we need to add, right? 166 one way and 166 miles the other way. So let's add here. This is 12 and here we get 13 and here we get 3. So that's your mileage for round trip. Dad drives at the speed of 45 miles per hour. Steadily, every hour, 45 miles. How many hours would he take? driving from Bryce Canyon to American Fork. Okay, again we need to use the chart. From Bryce Canyon to American Fork. Okay, this one and this one. Here's our number. Okay, 228. Let me just write it here. Of course that is not our answer to the problem, right? The problem is asking how many hours would he take driving that distance. And we're going to solve it in an easy way. I know there's another way to solve this that you will learn in maybe fourth grade, but for now we're going to solve it in an easier way. And that is that we're going to make a chart. In one hour, dad would drive 45 miles. And then in two hours, can you tell me? How many miles will he drive in two hours? You just double this number, right? 90 miles. And now we're gonna try three hours and so on until we get to that number or close to it. Three hours. How many miles will that drive in three hours? Math is telling me, yep. 135 miles. Four hours. Okay, I could take the two hours and double that. Or I can take this and add 45. Either way, 90 and 90 would be 180. Aha, uh -huh, we're getting closer, right? Five hours. Again, take this and add 45. Or add 40 first and then 5. So we will get 225. 
And that's almost exactly our number here, right? Just a few miles more. So our answer would be five hours and just a tad more. Okay? And we're actually done with this lesson now.